These eight principles are the ones that, that uh, predict effective outcomes and that there is a, a very clear research base around them that we can all support is one of the big breakthroughs. And NYLC teamed up with lots of people to, to make sure that happened. And I credit State Farm enormously because they stood behind us. It took us, the last stint took five years, but it was 20 years in the making till we got those standards. And now, and now they're, everywhere you go, you find them. People accept them because we took the time to work together to create them. And they are now being used in 74 different countries. Uh, and, and the teachers in the Peace Corps are being trained in service learning. And the materials are in four or five different uh, languages now. So, so it, this is, I like to say that the idea of service and contribution represents, I think, a cultural commons around which uh, people of different uh, backgrounds and experiences and faith perspectives can meet. Because you'll find service, you'll find the other as an end for most education if you, if you dig deeply enough. And I found it in pre-colonial, in interviewing pre-colonial um, uh, people of pre experience in, in Congo, in Senegal, and in Kenya, is they said, you know, before before the British came, before the French came, before the Belgians came, the idea of learning was that it would, number one, it would be applied and that it would have some utility other than for just for me.